up, y'all? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Another cardio confessionals. And what I would like to go over today is my prep update to yesterday. What a day. 450 protein, 450 grams of protein, 100 grams of carbs. Yes, my big ass only had 100 grams of carbs. I was cursing John Otis Hollywood's name yesterday. And 60 grams of fat. What I did... I, Thomas is in here, it's President's Day, he has the day off. I've been working my ass off all day, man. We got a deal on MTS Nutrition Way today with free shipping. It's going nuts. And we also, man, we're just doing well. I got a lot of things going on, a lot of R&D going on too. Anyway, and, and you guys emailing me. And don't text me. Guys, I gave my cell phone number. That doesn't mean to text me questions. Email them. Texting is very inefficient. The iPhone and the text, not efficient. I appreciate you contacting me. It's driving me nuts. Call me if you need something. Homeboy called me yesterday. It was good. Anyway, check it out. Um, so today, I'm at 420 grams of protein, 340 grams of carbs, and 60 grams of fat. What I did last night is I saved up my fat. So at the end of the day, I had an egg, uh, MTS Nutrition egg pancake. Y'all can search that on uh, YouTube. Put peanut butter on top, two tablespoons, and had some broccoli on the side. It was so good. Oh, I, I miss peanut butter. And I had it, and it was good. And I woke up this morning under 220, 219.8. I'm getting shredded, guys. I'm getting real, real shredded. Anyway, what I wanted to address today is low intensity cardio. All right, Lane did a video on metabolic damage and cardio. And I agree with him that HIIT is the most efficient form of cardio. However, low intensity cardio, what it does is it increases your caloric expenditure, thus allowing you to keep calories higher and allowing you to eat more food while decreasing your calories through expenditure so you can lose fat. Now, HIT is what I normally recommend. You can read my book, fatlossfactorbook.com. Huge proponent of HIT. However, I weigh 220 pounds right now. I started at 250. A five foot six guy at 220, running fast, as I talked to John Otis Hollywood about, is just gonna equal an injury. I'm gonna snap my shit up. So, I do cardio at a low and to medium intensity. Um, right now, my incline is at six to 10. Incline on the treadmill. My speed's between 3.6 and 3.8. And that's what I do. Now, you know, when I do the step mill, that's medium intensity. But I'm not doing high intensity. For larger individuals like myself, and for people who train sometimes six days a week, HIIT cardio might not be the best option. And as you can tell, I'm getting pretty damn shredded with this form of cardio. Now, I do feel high intensity is superior, but it depends on the person, it depends on the case. I didn't have my brother as a six foot one, 187 pounds on stage natural, do any high intensity interval training. All he did was he was up to an hour of cardio a day on the step mill or incline treadmill. That's it. Medium intensity. There's more than one way to skin a cat. And I do not believe that low intensity cardio, I actually think it helps prevent metabolic damage because you're keeping cardio up and you keep your calories higher. Now there is a limit. I don't suggest doing over two hours, but some people to get down to the nitty gritty of body fat. Man, you gotta get you gotta get crazy with cardio. It is what it is. So that's that. I do not think it'll damage you metabolically, and I do not think everybody needs high intensity interval training. So, on to the next one. Um you got over my my stuff, what's going on with me? I gotta admit, this is the hardest prep ever because, well it's not that hard so to speak, but with the newborn, 
my kids, business has never been this busy for me in my life. It's, uh, it's inundating. And the fact that I don't sleep through the night because the newborn, it's just hard. But I set a goal, it's a challenge, and I'm gonna meet it, and I'm gonna bring the best condition you've ever seen. So with that said, it's enough time. Appreciate you guys watching. This is Cardio Confessionals. Cardio Confessions. Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Again, pre-cardio, even in the afternoon. Now, one more thing. When you do your cardio, it does not matter. I usually do it in the morning due to scheduling, but because I had the kids at home today, the gym daycare opened at 8. So what I did, took them there, trained. It's around 12.30 now. I'm doing my cardio now. Doesn't matter if you have a fasted stomach. Doesn't matter if you're eating a steak while walking. As long as you do your cardio, it doesn't matter. Just get the cardio done. Doesn't need to be fasted. Doesn't need to be at night. And if it is fasted, you ain't gonna lose muscle. And if you're worried about that, take some branch chains. Ease your mind. All right, Cellucor BCAA is good. I got a uh, Muscle Tech Amino building here. That's that. So I took your Himbine and Drop Factor pre-cardio. So, that's it. And remember, cardio is not a game! Thank you. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. Check it, yo. Listen to this North American, you and you did the faulty heritage. I'm not the medicine, better than majority of them. Carcinogenic pen, trapped within the negative zen. Labeled a hidden gem, hidden what?